Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my show. I'm your host, Merlin, and welcome to another Porting with Ports, where I port a keyboard, in this case, the MB17 into QMK and VIA. Welcome, everyone. Let's see who's here tonight. I see Whitpax. I see Zark. Not sure if there are any other people, but thanks for joining in, guys. Tonight's drink. Tonight's drink is going to be the same old port I've been drinking the last couple of weeks, but I'm making much headway. We've only got a little bit left. Could probably do maybe a glass and a half. We'll see. We'll see. Oop, let me turn on my light just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, this, not one of my favorite drinks, but it's good. It's good. Not bad for what I got it for. Let's see. Yeah, yeah I think that's actually just one whole glass. Let's see. What were people talking about before the stream? Woodpack says, hello, not late, epic music. Oh, um, don't, don't run the the commands until the stream actually starts because i don't update it till then Ooh, olivia thanks for joining in mountain blocks thanks for joining in as well let's see mm. no, the last drink i think hmm zark says cider i may drink cider next after i drink this glass i found a really nice nice cider back in trader joe's so we'll see i'll I'll pull it out in just a bit. I just want to keep it chilled and all that. Let's see. Let's get some tunes going. And unfortunately, I am still running at about... Ah! There we go. I'm still running at about 2,000 BPS. Just because things are really, really slow. Everyone's work from home. Everyone's streaming Netflix. Everyone's playing games, everyone's watching Twitch. So yeah, I've gone down from 40 megabits upload to tonight is 2 megabits upload. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not doing too well here. Hopefully things aren't too choppy. We'll see. We'll see as the stream goes along. Ooh, Pork Chop Express. Thanks for joining in. Oh. Speaking of coronavirus, I'm sure you guys have already heard so much about it. Um, I, I usually showcase what's happening or what's what I'm receiving in the mail, but everything I've bought in the mail or everything I've bought hasn't come in at all. Um, even stuff from Amazon, Amazon Prime, like Amazon is is like here in, in, in like downtown Seattle, but their two day shipping hasn't even gotten one of my packages to me. In fact, um, Mountain Blocks. Do you remember last week you recommended getting those filters for my Hakko FR300? I ordered it that same evening and it's still not here. It's been what? It's been over a week. You know, Olivia says you should try. How do how do I even pronounce that? Bok, Bok Bunja Ju. That sounds Korean. I'm going to assume it's Korean. Whitpack says, buttercreams, interesting, sounds nice, are they smooth? Yes, they are the smoothest butter. Zark has a quad shot coffee. Oh, must be morning for you in Australia down there. Porkchop is waiting for stuff this week too. Yeah, this stuff, stuff isn't coming in at all. The last thing that actually came in was actually the build tonight. The MB17 from Mountain Blocks. So we'll be looking into that tonight, and depending on time, I might, I might build it. I, I actually have quite a few of kits similar to this, not just from Mountain Blocks, but something from Clueboard. Just a bunch of kits that that I've been meaning to just build. So we'll see. We shall see how the night goes on. Let's say. Oh yeah, special announcement for all of you guys. Let me just. Pull it up. Let me just pull it up. But sometime last year, sometime last year, you may have re you may remember that I tried to run a keyset via Kono. 
called GM Cameron. Well, the good news is mykeyboards.eu has confirmed receiving the very first set. So those of you guys who are in in Europe and have purchased GMK Merlin, you will probably get it before everyone else, in, including myself. But take a look at that. That that is really pretty. That is that is really pretty. It's um this this is one of the benefits of choosing stock colors. They usually come out as what you would expect. See, so take a look at that, and then take a look at the renders. It's uh, fairly close, right? Fairly close. It's everything is stock color, so there there are no surprises. So that's a closer shot right there. This is the same yellow that was in Nautilus N6. Mountain Block says, I bought it. Don't expect to see it anytime soon, but stoked for the QMK novelties. That is what I want as well. I'm very, very excited to see what those look like. Um, Olivia, you should run one with Via Novelties. <laughs> But yeah, all, all the colors look great. I, I can't wait to get mine. Um, I, I spoke with Kono this morning and they said that they received tracking. So, you know, with all of the shipping issues today, it might arrive in two weeks, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We, we just don't know and you know, um, Kono does have a track record of being slower than usual, so I'd probably give it another month. We'll see. We'll see. We will see, but I am so excited. I can finally ship out one of the prizes that I did. I can, um, I don't know. I did buy quite a few kits, so we'll see what I do with them. Woodpack says, what board are you going to put GMK Merlin on? That is a good question. Um, I, I actually haven't quite decided yet, but I'm thinking the Sirius. That, it, it seems to work well with white. See, let me go back to there. Look, it looks really good on a white board. So maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try it with the Sirius. The other one is actually this. I, I have the same TGR. It doesn't have the TGR filled out in yellow, but I have roughly the same color. So I think it should look exactly like this, hopefully. Damage Point says putting it on my Kepler. Damage Point is the winner of GMK Merlin from a few months ago. <laughs> Zark says, guess I'll have to win one. Oh boy, yeah. Let's see if you guys have never seen the novelties before. These are the novelties. There is a summon key. There are the QMK key. I have, even though I was part, I, even though I'm part of QMK, um, I still needed to ask permission just to make sure that it was cool with our with our directors Jack and Scully. But yeah, these are all the novelties. I am super pumped to get them. I'm excited about this hat and the QMK logo. We'll see. So yeah, that's probably the major announcement. Um, hopefully it ships soon. But I am deeply jealous of my keyboard.eu. Olivia, Olivia says QMK is IP. Um, I don't know the exact details, but typically if you want to use someone's logo, if you want to, you know, put them on something, you should at the very at, at at the very least you need to ask like or like give 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 like a heads up you know all that good stuff so yeah um if you guys read through that group by i actually mentioned that shipping should commence in december so we are already delayed way past it Pork Chop Express subscribing at tier one. Thank you so much. Looks like you've subscribed for four months. Awesome possum. Let's say, what was I gonna do next? Oh yeah. Tonight's show is made possible thanks to Mountain Blocks, who is currently on stream. 
He is a vendor located here in the United States. In fact, he is here in the Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon. I've never met him before despite going to a bunch of Oregon meetups, but this is his store. Feel free to check out mountainblocks.com. Um, he is shipping and hopefully things will ship to you, especially if you're in this area. He sells quite a bunch of parts. Um, mill maxes. I did not know you sold mill maxes. I have recently made a few customer builds with mill maxes and they've been asking me where else can I get this? But this is cool. Let's see, what else do you have here? LED screws. Ooh, switch puller. Good, it's it's $2.80. Fairly cheap. Let's see, oh yes, the PDX KBC macro pad kit. If you guys go to the organ meetup, uh, which happens every month actually, except during coronavirus season, you you can pick up one of these. Just the PCB though, not the Pro Micro or any of the hardware attached to it. You, all, all you can do is pick up the the PCB. Um, Mountain Blogs, you might be able to answer this question to me, but why rose? Why is it a rose? I'm, I don't think Oregon's symbol is a rose. Do do you know why? City of Rose. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it now. I get it now. Cool. What's up, brother? It says X Fatal Theory. Thanks for joining in, man. So this kit in particular retails for 15 bucks, or you can just go to the Portland meetup and just pick up the PCB for free. Just Portland things as mountain blocks. X Fatal Theory. He says it's it's JR. Hey, what's up, man? All right, tonight's kit is not the PDX KBC macro pad. It is in fact the MB-17, which is still not on his site, but maybe it will show up tonight. We'll see. We shall see. All right, let's open up this kit. Mountain Blocks, thanks again for sending me a copy. If I'm not mistaken, these are going to retail for a tad shy of 30 bucks, 28 bucks or so. And you've got over 100 in stock right now. Comes with a mountain block sticker if you guys like collecting stickers. Pretty neat. Mountain Block says, not yet. I still need to flash all the Pro Micros with the firmware you're going to make for me. Ooh, pressure. The pressure is on. All right. Comes with the Pro Micro. Keep in mind, you do not absolutely need a Pro Micro to build this board. You can also use a Proton C, which is a QMK product, or an Elite C, which is a Keeb IO product. So definitely check those out if you guys have the chance the pro micro however is by far the cheapest comes with a set of diodes all the diodes that you need so you can have your nkro comes with pcb mount stabilizers mountain blocks are these authentic cherry or are these knockoff cherry Interesting. I see that he also has washers. Hmm. They're super easy with the programming jig. Comes with the rest of the hardware used for this. It's got the not only the screws to put the board together, but what looks to be a reset switch. Is it? Surface mount, it looks surface mount. Mountain Block says, yeah, according to KP Republic, these are authentic cherries. All right, awesome. And last but not the least, it comes with an FR4 plate, like so. You can set, set up your basic numpad layout, or you can just do all one U keys. Comes with the PCB.
and with the bottom plate. Mountain Box has most expensive part of the kit with stabs. Nice. Look at that. The 17, the MB17. Very nice. Very nice. So I'm just noticing this right now. Looks like this is going to be kind of a top mount, but because since it's going to sit like that, sandwich plate, I guess you could call this inter integrated plate, maybe? Maybe like an integrated plate? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, my, my task for tonight my task for tonight is to actually figure out how the Pro Micro connects to everything here. It's funny. Like, my, my issue with builds that have Pro Micros is that it's always difficult to figure out which, which side does the Pro Micro go on? Does it go this way? Or does it go upside down? Or does it go on the other side? We'll see. This one is actually labeled. It says smooth side down. So by smooth side, he's referring to the part without any of the controllers and all that. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is all FR4. FR4. All right, um, here. I don't really need anything but the PCB, but let's, let's let's go and figure this out. And I've already drank my wine. Hmm, I must be thirsty tonight. Though I did drink two glasses of water. You know, on, on my Tuesday streams, I, I do try to be hydrated. Just because just drinking wine when you're thirsty isn't particularly good for you. All right, let's do this. Where did I put my beeping mechanism? I might actually have to grab that cider earlier than, than usual. All right, folks, what's needed to figure out how things are connected is a handy multimeter. My particular multimeter is only 25 bucks. I picked it up quite some time ago. I can't even remember where. But let's see, smooth side down. That means I need to, I need to pull up a diagram of the Pro Micro. Pro micro pin out. Otherwise, I would have no idea what I'm looking at. Because I don't have that memorized. Who memorizes these things anyway? <laughs> there we go. That's a, that's a decent one. Okay. See, this is this is the the pinout diagram that I'll be looking at. You may notice that it is a red Pro Micro, just because there's the official Pro Micro that's sold by SparkFun, I think, and then there's the non-official one that's just you can get anywhere. Ooh, I get some follows. S speaker, speaker. Oh, I can't even read that. But SP33 that. That's what I'll call you. Thank you for following. All right, let's see. Let me pull this up on stream. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. What packs has Mac Merlin? Where do you buy your lube? Um, I would recommend buying my lube at Project Keyboards. I'm not sure if he has any left, but you can check out his store. Yeah, this is... This lube has lasted me for, I think I've built seven keyboards with this already and it's still going strong. All right, let's do this. And we are going to do 
How are we? How are we? How are we gonna do this? I need to pull up a keyboard layout editor so I can mark things as I see them. Okay. And suppose switches go on one side. Okay. It's going to be upside down then. Okay. Let me think about how this goes. Okay. I think that's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. That is the layout I want right, right there. Let's get rid of all this stupid raw data. Delete. There we go. That's good. Tools. Remove all. Remove all legends. Ooh. Orion JG has followed. Thanks, man. I see you're online, man. All right. Okay. We are going to figure out how each of these switches are connected to each other. Whitpack says, where do you find the lube on Project Keyboard? Um, it should be in his, in his um, product category. You just got... You just gotta look around. This might be the fastest tracing that I ever do. <laughs> Which is a good thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Is that correct? One, two, three, four, five. F7. The columns are F7. Perfect. Top legend, F7. Three. One, two, three, E six. Yeah, this this might be really quick tonight, guys. Which is good. Four. D seven. Okay. D seven. C6, perfect. Mountain Block says, this is literally my first attempt at PCB design. Go easy on me. Just you wait, just you wait. Milkman, thanks for joining in. All right, perfect. Okay, now I need to find the columns. Column should be 
Mm, this other pin, this other leg at least. I mean, rose, I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. F4. Okay. F4. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B one. B one with the keyboard. Regalicia says, Grats on the first PCB mountain blocks. Congratulations indeed. I've always found PCB design very intimidating. Up to the point that I haven't even, well, I've I've tried. I I followed I I O three's guides, but I've never like progressed much much further than that. But maybe one day, one day I will. B3. I'm almost done. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Really? B2, B2, all right, I'm at the last row, yeah, this is the fastest, fastest one ever. B6. Perfect. All right. That is officially the fastest tracing I've possibly ever done. All right. I'm just going to save this really quick so I don't lose it. Call it keyboard name MB17. Perfect. Mountain Block says it's like ultra nerdy bingo. Absolutely. <laughs> imagine if, imagine if I had like, if, if I was so well funded that I would just ask the audience, which pins, which pins do you guys? think go where so people would make like their own matrix 
And if you got it right, if you got the whole row right or, or the whole column right, I'll be like, congratulations, Zark. You, you win a TGR Jane. <laughs> Something like that. Oh man, the last time I played bingo was, was with my grandma. My grandma loved bingo. Well, she still loves bingo, but yeah, she's she's getting up there. She's 94. And I, I do want to mention that I made a mistake. I said that this PCB supports all 1U, but apparently no, it only supports one layout. And that layout is what you see right here. <laughs> Sorry, that you still got my shipping details. Oh gosh. All right, I think that's really all I need for this. It's really all I need. And you know, since I've, I'm all out of wine. Even the bottle's completely out. I'm gonna have to grab that cider that Zark was talking about. Let's see, let me grab the last few drops. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> yep, there we go. Last last few drops have been drank. Have been drunk. Is it drank or drunk? Or am I just the only one drunk? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab that cider really quick before I continue, but yeah, mountain blocks. I figure since I've been pretty much shilling mountain blocks, I should drink shilling apple cider. Olivia says drunk it. I have drunk it the wine it. This is a shilling hard cider, pineapple passion fruit that I just picked up from the grocery store yesterday. Um, not sure if you guys have been paying attention to much news or if you're even here in the Pacific Northwest but due to some over ecstatic beach goers this weekend in Washington State our governor Jay, Jay Inslee has decided to declare a shelter in in place mandate and that went into effect yesterday at 5:30, and I was like honey we should totally go and buy some groceries so, so I went, but then we, we, we've been pretty well stocked, you know, we've been pretty well stocked already. So it's just been, uh, I just realized my music isn't playing all that loudly. There we go. But yeah, we've been pretty well stocked. So I walked in and I'm like, what do we need? Alcohol. <laughs> so I bought this. You, you can buy a six pack of these at your lo local grocery store for about $13.50. 1350 um juicy and unfiltered i've already had one can to myself very delicious about 200 calories so yeah i guess this will be the remainder of my drink for tonight trying to stick with the two drink maximum on tuesdays mountain block says everyone is grabbing tp and i'm out here loading up on beer and coffee it's the priorities you know Mm. Oh yeah, that definitely just tastes like... That's more passion fruit than pineapple, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I'm gonna put this wine glass away. Alright, alright. Let's see, where, where was I? I was at... Oh yeah, I just traced the switch matrix. There we go. 
Next thing we need to do is I got to bring up some VS code here just to show what's going on. All right. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can do something quicker. If I can find it. I always forget. We can use... Here, let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh my gosh, mountain blocks. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Gubernaut, I see you. Gifting five tier one subs to my community. Let's see, congratulations to, A to Asian Tinak, Once Saved Gaming, Regalicious, Gatable, and Tigal Bit. Thank you. Thank you so much. And see all of the all of my little gifts are coming out. The guy going Shh, magic. Actually. Let's do that. Let's do that with the actual webcam pointing at me. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh yeah, what was I gonna do? What was I talking about? I keep forgetting. Oh yeah. So what we can do these days is take this. Take this, what I just did. You click on the raw data tab. You copy all of that. Copy it all. Copy it all. Then you go to Mr. Keeb's tool, which is KLE to QMK dot MrKeebs.com, who is another awesome Twitch streamer. He's from Brazil. And you just paste it. Like so. And if you did it correctly, it will it will show you what row pins there are and what column pins there are. And all you have to do is press convert. And this this gives you the layout macro that you need, which we will talk about in just a bit. Regalicia says, my, my first PCB was a numpad too. Mr. Keebs is indeed a legend. Oh boy. Username Ghost here has subscribed. Thank you, man. <laughs> Jeez, lots of support tonight. Thank you guys. All right, so we all just hold on to that for just a bit. What we want to do next, what we want to do next is bring up my text editor of choice, which is VS Code. All right, okay. So all this stuff here, all this stuff is generated by QMK. Let me see, let me just, I, I've already done it before the show, because to be honest, I didn't know how long this would take. But what you can do is, if you're in your QMK directory, there is a directory called util. And in the util directory, there is a script called new keyboards.sh. And all you have to do is run it, type in your keyboard name, type in all of the necessary details, and it will generate all these files for you. Oh yeah, speaking of files, um, you may have noticed in several of my streams, I've typed in QMK and it does something. Um, I've been, I've been messaged by quite a few people asking me what the QMK command is. How come they're not able to, to like do it as well? The thing is, QMK is actually my my um, alias for using for for jumping straight to my QMK directory. Drashna says, "Shame, shame, shame." QMK new keyboard. Yes, that's true. Um, if you listen to my previous example, this is this is exactly why I didn't bring that up. <laughs> but now that you've opened Pandora's box. 
<laughs> um, you can use QMK on a command line interface by typing like, you know, like your usual Unix command, CD, LS, all of that stuff. And for the, for the longest time, the community has been calling that command line QMK. It's not like QMK configurator. It's not, it's not via, it's just, you're on the command line and you're interacting with QMK. Um, there is a new product out there. It's called <laughs> command line QMK. <laughs> And it's essentially, it's, it's, it's the QMK CLI. It's, it's, it's different from QMK firmware. It's different from QMK configurator, but think of it as a wrapper, as a wrapper for all of the QMK commands. You can do stuff such as calling this, this, this new keyboard script using QMK new dash keyboard. You can, you can take your JSONs from Q, QMK configurator and turn it into a keymap.c and vice versa. And there's just so much you can do with it. There's just so much you can do with it. I, I highly recommend it, especially if you're already on a command line. But for now, but for now, um, you just have to remember that you can partially ignore all that. Just read docs if you wanna know more about it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if you did QMK keyboard, or if you did the the new keyboard script, you will generate all these files. Xbash01 says a wrapper. Yes, a wrapper. Um, you know, um, Jack Humbert, which is, who was one of the directors of QMK, is a very talented musician, and he is. You know, I'm pretty sure he's got some good rap skills too. <laughs> Shock says, this process is a lot easier than what the docs describe. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm also, you know, I too, like, when I, when I first got into QMK, I had to read through all of the docs as well. There are two ways to do this. Dot slash new keyboard or run QMK new keyboard. Okay, so basically all of this stuff that's generated is vanilla cookie cutter stuff. Like even this info.json, I have no idea what this is. Probably not something useful. Could look at all that, like here. This is where I, where I first wanna make the changes. A short description of the keyboard project. MB17, let's actually capitalize that. Oops. MB17, Merlin, learn to type. There is no Imgur link that I know of, but maybe I can touch base with mountain blocks for one. A, how, how would you describe this? A sandwich numpad from Mount, mm. A single layout sandwich numpad. There we go. A single layout sandwich numpad. Oops. Keyboard maintainer. Sure. Let's keep it with Mech Merlin. Hardware supported. MB17. Whoa. Why am I not typing properly? Hardware availability, TBD, because the links haven't been posted yet. Make example for this keyboard. Oh yes, you may have noticed that I've put it in an actual mountain blocks directory. So let's, mountain blocks colon. There we go. No wait, there we go. Mountain blocks says it's a numpad yo. I always get busted with copy pasta in my PRs. When the port kicks in, it's the cider that's kicking in, man. All right, what what other vanilla stuff do I want to take care of? Here we go. Manufacturer, let's just I don't know who manufactured your stuff, but I'm just going to call call it Mountain Blocks. I can't spell mountain. 
product MB17, a custom numpad. All right, let's see. Here's the thing that I want to do next. Um, All right, so, man, I feel like I, I need to jump around here a little bit, but here, we need to figure out an, an appropriate vendor ID and an appropriate product ID for you because VIA uses this. So for vendor ID, I'm just gonna, I guess just pick MB and let's say MB in hex. What is MB in hex? 4D42. 4D42. Is that. Is that taken? Nothing found. Woo! Good. I can do 4D42. So the place that I'm finding that all is. Here. Hey guys, it's a little website called sc.com. They've got this USB ID database that I've been using. I plugged in 4D42, clicked search. Nothing showed up, so I think we're good. Hopefully. Hopefully we're good. I guess we'll find out. So let's make it 4D42. Four D four two product ID. We can call it the the seventeen. <laughs> yes, that's fine. And device version zero zero one. That's fine. Um. Let's see. No, let's just let's just keep it like that for now, and then we'll we'll add the changes as we go through. Oh wait, we know that this is going to be. A pro micro by default, so let's call it Katarina. And yeah, yeah, that's that's good enough for an initial check-in. Initial commit. Bam. Awesome, awesome possum. Mountain blocks has F the police. Ooh. So I believe if you want to have an an actual vendor ID, the one that's been blessed by, by the government and stuff, <laughs> or by USBIF, I think that's the regulating agency, you need to cough up about $5,000. I you know, that's, that's probably it. Okay. I think we're good here. Matcha Block says, I do not have five grand. I'm sorry. But, it, you know, it's not like they... I don't think they actually crack down on you very, very often. Like, I don't ever remember reading about anyone being cracked down upon. Olivia says, USBIF is not even my real dad. <laughs> Yeah, um, I would assume that if worse comes to worse, they come knocking on your door, they'll tell you to change it, and sure, change it. So, no, no harm down, done, no real worries there. All right. All right, so using, okay, let's, the first file that I like to edit is the keyboard.h file. In this case, it's mb17.h. What you're looking at over here is what QMK calls the layout macro. The layout macro is divided into two parts. This top part is called the physical matrix. The bottom part is called the electrical matrix. And the way this works is all these numbers here, k00, k01, yada, yada, yada. This first number, is the row number. The second number is the column number. 
what row, what column am I talking about? You can go back to config.h and it's all these guys here. So if you're looking at the row here, this D0 is row zero, D5 is row one. This is column zero, column one, column two. So if you guys remember Mr. Mr. Keeb's tool, we can just copy and paste from there. No problem at all. So I believe the rows were just boom, boom diggity. And the column pins were just, there we go, easy peasy. So that looks like that's a five by four, five by four, oops, not 34, but just four. And then we can go back to Mr. Keeb's tool. Copy is generated is generated layout macro and just huh. boom and that that really should be it now let's see if it actually builds Make mountain block slash MB17. Oh, no, wait, it's not going to build yet because I still haven't edited the key map. Ah. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's generated quite a bunch of random stuff that we don't need. Delete. Delete. Okay, we need that. We can take out custom key codes and layer names. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. What do we want here? Um, let's, let's take that out for now. Mm. I've forgotten what goes into a numpad. <laughs> Here, let me just pull up. Let me just pull up the base keyboard layout editor. Okay, it goes numlock. Here, let me just pull this over here really quick. Is it Casey Num? I don't know these key codes. KC slash, KC mole. Oops. KC mole. Then KC sub. Followed by. Oh God, what's, what is the. What is the numpad key codes? It's KC underscore. It's not just the number. It's, I think it's P for pad. Yeah, I think, I think it's P for pad. Let's try that. P for pad. Speaking of pad. Speaking of pad, it is just yesterday, actually, I went by one of my favorite Thai restaurants here, and I had some Pad Thai. I was very, very satisfied. KC9. And do we put the plus there? Oh, Droshna says, just grab the default community layout. That is a good idea. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Good idea. What would I do without you, Drashna? What would I do without you? There we go. Perfect. That is the link I want. I will even copy it completely in its entirety.
Boom. Okay. Looks good. Alright. I should be able to build this now. No. Oh, layout numpad 5x4. Make sure we name the layout macro correct. There we go. I fully expect build errors. Of course. Missing parentheses in macro parameter list K41, K42. What? Mm. Okay. Let's just check that out. Is it just a missing comma? There we go. I, I think that's it. A little bit different. That too. You forgot the backslash and one too many commas. The backslash? Like that? Or no, right there actually. Line 28. Oh, thanks. Yay. All right. Mr. Mountain Blocks, you, you have firmware. Let's clean it up a little bit. Mountain Blocks tipping me 222. Thanks, man. Hey, hey, Mountain Blocks, do you have actual, um, do you have a built unit right now? And are you familiar with flashing your board? Mountain Blocks says, yeah. Drasha says K23 and K43 should be on the next line down. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. You have a couple built, wow. Sounds like you're a vendor or something. All right, I'm gonna send you this this firmware. Actually, let me rebuild it just to be sure. And yeah, try, try, try flashing it. Let me just message you on Discord really quick. Open up Discord. Discord. All right, sending you the firmware file. Mm, where'd I put it? Okay, mountain blocks, default hex. And sent. Please let me know if it works. Meanwhile, I will entertain the audience with some magic tricks. <laughs> as if, as if. <laughs> I should probably learn some magic tricks. So while, while I'm waiting for whoever asked the firmware to be built to like test it, I'll just do some magic tricks, you know? Let's see. Okay, let, let me know if it works out for you. 
I will wait for your good news. But I will eventually build this as well. I just need to get a couple more, whatchamacallit, a couple more of those sockets from my key bio so I can just socket this pro micro. at your numpad here. Uh, out of curiosity, who did you... I'm, I'm not sure if you're cool with letting the stream know, but who, who did you get to manufacture all of your PCBs? Did you go local or did you go from China? I use JLC, cool. I'm not a PCB person, so I'm gonna have to Google that. JLC, JLC online, just like cash coupons? <laughs> Probably not, right? Let's go JLC PCB. Uh, here we go, JLC PCB, make PCBs. Only $2 for a PCB prototype, cool. I do not know where they are located. Oh, there's an about us section. Who is JLC PCB? Oh, they're from Hong Kong. Interesting. Mountain Block says flashed and working. Woohoo! Woohoo! I shall have another drink to that. Cool. Awesome. All right. We will now attempt to get Via working on this. The next firmware I send you should be Via enabled, but you won't be, be able to use it until I actually get the Via side done. <laughs> Ooh. Loyalty is orange says, hey Merlin, I'm trying to switch from layer zero to layer one and back. I can switch to layer one, but I can't switch back to layer zero unless I build TG and TO on the same layer. Is that supposed to be right? That sounds really off right now, but um, I'm currently doing a stream about porting a PCB into QMK. Um, if you want, I can help you out after the stream. All right, let's see. Let's, let's go back here. Okay. So going forward from this point of the stream, well, like QMK is pretty much done at this point. We should be good. So the next part is getting via support. And the way to do that is to make another key map. We've already done like the like the default key map. What's next is actually hold on. Let me let me actually make use of source control and check in my work. Uh, there we go. Marco in the house. Thanks, man. Drashna says, what about configurator support? I should probably do that too. Yeah, l actually, let's let's actually do that. That, that shouldn't take too long. All right, here. So to get QMK configurator support, you just want to edit a file called info.json. And the way you do this, you have to go all the way back to that KLE I made earlier. Let's see. Where is it? Where is that KLE? K 
Kaylee, where are you? All right. You want to go all the way back to the KLE over here. The thing is, hold on. Okay, that's save. What you want to actually remove all legends temporarily. Do not save this once you've done that. You still want this raw data right here. And then you need you want to go to qmk.fm slash converter. You take that raw data, paste it in the input, press convert, and boom. You have what info.json should be. and paste mb17 one thing you need to watch out for is the name of the layout macro this needs to match what you defined in here which is going to be layout underscore numpad underscore five by four so let's do that rename it appropriately like so all that good stuff. Mountain Block says, yeah, being in the configurator would make it a lot easier for my builders. I credit QMK configurator for actually bringing a lot more people into QMK. You don't see too much need to re reconfigure a basic numpad. All right. So one thing that you could do, what what I suggest you could do, Mountain Blocks, is um, most people would use a numpad, but a growing number of people also want to use a macro pad. So one thing is instead of locking them into the numpad layout, you could try making this into like everything is like one U, so it could be used as a macro pad. Xenophobia says, I can already tell, having been here for 60 seconds, that the JSON is going to be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Xenophobia is our resident JSON expert. He can look at a JSON file and be like, that's wrong. Coincidentally, within 60 seconds. <laughs> Xenoph Xenophobia says, Drashna, it's your fault. Drashna says, how is it my fault? You wanted the two you tall keys aligned bottom instead of top. <laughs> you guys fight it out. I just, I just work here. <laughs> All right. But in the time being, I'm actually gonna get, get via support in. Mountain Block says, right, I didn't know how to do the combined footprints at the time. Oh yeah, for sure. So I've never actually seen this done on any macro pad, but it would be cool if you could like give two positions of where the pro micro could go. So one could be, here's your basic numpad, put it up here and it works like a numpad. The other way, turn it vertically and you can put the other pro, pro micro here 
this way you could actually have a numpad to like type on like that. I've never seen that done before, so I don't know if it's gonna complicate matters. But yeah. Tigal Bit says, can I see the bottom plate again? Sure. The bottom plate is just a solid piece of FR4. That's it. Pretty much it. Comes with this logo. I would imagine the logo faces the faces the floor. Workshop Express says, cool idea for sure. Would be cool, but I just I just don't know how how much more complicated it would make the the routing. From what I've heard, designing your PCB is simple as long as you know your base your your basic electronics. Coming up with the schematic is simple. The hard part is actually putting all the components onto the PCB itself, um, figuring out where the traces go. So I. I could just imagine like it would look a lot more, a lot less straightforward than this. Like here, I feel like I could have almost not used the multimeter and just looked at it and guessed. But we'll see, we'll see. Cozy says, well, you definitely wouldn't want the switch footprints to be sideways for that second layout you're proposing. Probably. All right, we're gonna put via support in while Xenophobia and Drashna are duking it out in the back room. <laughs> All right, basically the, the way that you can get via in is number one, as I mentioned earlier, make sure you have an appropriate vendor and product ID Number two, create a second key map. Hold or create a new key map called VIA. And basically just replicate default. And add in a rules.mk. In rules.mk, enable two features. The first one being VIA underscore enable and you enable it by doing equals yes second thing you need to do it's it's not a requirement for via but it's good to have lto underscore enable equals yes lto stands for link time optimization if you have a particularly large board with lots of features and you have a particularly small microcontroller such as an Atmega32U4, you will definitely want to do LTO underscore enable. And I'm realizing right now that my little, my picture is not showing up anymore. Why is that? Why is that? What happened to you? There we go. There we go. I brought it back. Hooray, hooray. You guys can see my beautiful face now. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, that's, that's really all you need to do. Oh wait, hold on. I take that back. That's not all you need to do. Um, Wilba, who is one of the developers of VIA, has suggested, has strongly suggested that all default VIA key maps need to have four layers defined. So let's do that.
two. And three. Droshna says, yeah, you know why, right? Because VIA only supports up to four. If you actually open up VIA, you'll see that layers are from zero till three. Droshna says, so that when the board initializes, it writes the prog mem key maps into memory. If you don't have all four populated, it will just leave those regions alone, meaning that you'll have random information in them. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see if my via actually works. Make mountain blocks slash MB17 colon via. Perfect, it works. Okay, um, mountain blocks, I'm sending you another file. This one will be via enabled, but you still will not be able to actually use it. Oops. Let's see. Send the file to Mr. Mountain Blocks here. So from your point of view, this numpad will not react any differently than what the previous hex was. So please flash that onto a board. Mountain Blocks says, I am Mr. Mountain Blocks now. <laughs> um, random note, completely random note. I just have to show you guys this. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see if I can remember that website. Oh gosh, um, where, where was it? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we, here we go, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> so, um, I, in my travels, I recently stumbled upon this random website. Um, <laughs> I think I mentioned before on stream, but I just think this is absolutely hilarious. Um, apparently in Scotland, you can be a lord or lady simply by owning land and anyone can buy land. You can even buy lands as small as one square meter by one square meter, you know? So it's like, it's crazy and it's only 50 bucks. And once you do this, you can be, you, 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 you can have your lordship title, or you can also be a lady. Olivia, this is a good time for you to join in. You should totally buy one of these, so you can be called Lady Olivia. <laughs> and I should totally buy one of these too, so I can all, I, I can always introduce myself as, you may call me Lord Merlin. Olivia, yes, they do. They also sell naming rights for stars. <laughs> but why do you want to look at those stars when there's one right here? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's get back to to this <laughs> to the stream. Let's get back to the stream and let me drink more cider. All right, all right, what's next? What's next is we, we've already, okay. 
So to get Via support in, it's two parts. The first part is QMK firmware. You, you need to flash a Via enabled QMK firmware onto your board, which we just did. Well, we just wrote the code for it and Mountain Blocks just flashed it on. The next part is actually creating support or creating a file so that Via itself can actually read your board and know what to do with it. Cozy says I can actually have Scottish dual citizenship, but I've never cared to do it. Ah, we can, um, <laughs> if, if everyone gets one, I should have like a, like a private section in my discord called Lords and Ladies. <laughs> And only people who can who can show me that they have an, an actual established title can, can enter it. I'm, I'm just full of crazy ideas tonight. Must be the alcohol. Okay. <laughs> Cozy is not that I know that I can be a lord though. Lord Cozy. I was reading through some of their quote-unquote testimonials. Someone was like, "Oh, now when I blow, now when I buy my plane tickets in the title section, I pick Lord. I've been treated with so much more respect than I have before." Mountain Block says, "Okay, Via firmware is flash and working. All right, excellent. We will now proceed to do the actual Via part." Um, for the actual via part, let me let me set it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, so far it's going strong, guys. My KBD67 hasn't failed me. Unlike the V1 PCB that failed within hours of the build. Mountain blocks, another 222 bits. Thanks, man. Olivia says, Highland titles. Response, <laughs> are we actually selling land? Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let me check out a branch. Let's call this MB17. What else would I call it? in a completely different repo now. This is the VIA Keyboards repo. It is not within QMK. You will not find it in QMK. It's a completely different repo, but also on GitHub. What you want to do here is go to the source directory that you can see here. All of these are sorted by vendor. Then you have one called Other, full of random keyboards. I fully expect Mr. Mountain Blocks here to expand his keyboard menagerie. So I'm going to give him his own directory. Mountain Blocks, like so. And what you want here is going to be a file called mb17, because that's the name of the keyboard.json, like so. And just because I can never remember JSON formatting, not good at it either, um, I'm just going to go to one of the boards that I've done, such as the Duck Eagle Viper, copy it all, and paste it. Boom, right there, and just work from there. So I know this board works because I've tested it on my dock. So what we're gonna do is just delete the key map portion here because that's specific to the dock. We are going to delete 
the label section here because once again that is specific to the dock and we are going to just change things up here we want five by four and then did this thing have rgbs or leds no it did not so this guy right here lighting should be none name mountain blocks mb17 and once again we need to look at the vendor id which i have long since forgotten so we will we will grab all that we will grab all that i believe it's 4d42 4D, 4, 2, and 17. Four, oops. 4D, 4, 2, and 0X, zero 0, 0, 17. Perfect. All right. Okay. So what we want next is actually, what goes here? Oh yeah. Blink says, I need a wrist rest like that. You mean this one? This one right here? This is from Orcus Keyboards. Orcus Keyboards is a local company here in Washington, actually. I believe they're in Shoreline, Washington. But I think most people call Shoreline North Seattle. They've got a nice Ranch 99 up there, very big Asian community. Or at least every time I go there, there's always like a bunch of Asian people. Yeah, this is Orcus Keyboards. You can order directly from them. They are US based. Or um, if you're patient, I believe Drop sells them every now and then. I think they are all man manufactured in-house. It's really nice. I picked this up during the 2019, no, the, the 2018 Seattle Mint Mechanical Keyboard Meetup. Yeah. I like using it. I should be using it too. I've noticed that with some boards, in fact, with this board, um, if I'm if I'm playing games on it, I tend to like start developing wrist pain. But with the wrist rest, a lot of that pain goes away. So I think I'm gonna keep doing that. You know? Mountain Blocks says, Mountain Blocks is going back into making wood space bar since I'm out of work. I just got fresh cherry 3D models from Heine. Mountain Blocks, do you also make wrist rests or are you just wooden keycaps? You can do CNC wood inlay, dang. All right, all right, okay. Pull up that site.
drawing board. Hold on. <laughs> I screwed something up. What did I screw up? Hold on. Hold on. What did I screw up? I don't think I screwed anything up. Really? I'm just gonna copy and paste that bit again. Invariant violation is not a pair. I don't know what that means, but I'm definitely still hitting that issue. What on earth? Olivia, if you're on stream, what does invariant violation is not a pair mean? Sounds like you're missing a row and a column. Oh, really? Okay. Let me just load my latest one just in case. Okay. Just checking this really quick off screen. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows and four columns. Yeah, my rows and columns look, look right. That's what the pair refers to, or maybe a group. On a key, or maybe a group. There are no groups because this is a single layout board. So I guess everything would be group zero. But here, let me examine my KLE again. Raw data. That looks fine. To be fair, this is the first numpad going into VIA. So, you know. We're making history here, guys. We are making history here. Let me just... Yeah, that raw data looks, looks good. So does... Can I show the JSON on the screen? Yes, I can. There we go. Which JSON? The JSON from KLE or the JSON that's going into VIA?
Oh boy. I haven't even drank that much yet, but I totally should have been able to figure that out. What's up guys? If it's your first time joining my stream, what I do here, especially on Tuesday nights, is I port boards into QMK. And now with Via in tow, I port boards into Via as well. Tonight's board is courtesy of Mountain Blocks, a Pacific Northwest vendor located in Portland, Oregon. He has a board called the MB-17, which is a numpad DIY kit, currently retailing for about $28. He has more than 100 in stock, I believe. And as soon as I finish firmware for him, he can actually start selling it. So that's what I'm doing tonight, actually. Minter Lady says, okay, for a second, I thought I did a typo. No, you did not do a typo. And thanks for sending all of your viewers my way. Thank you so much. But yeah, I am in the middle of doing VIA support right now. I am halfway through done with VIA. Wrong. She's like, psh, psh, psh. <laughs> stop it, Merlin, stop it. <laughs> Olivia says, hope you're well and safe. Yeah, hope you're well and safe too. Um, Olivia, I, I hear you are, I know you're in New York and I know you're doing worse than Washington. So hope everyone's staying safe during these troubling times. <laughs> Mountain Blocks giving another five tier one subs. Oh my gosh. Thanks, man. Congratulations to 707 Jammin, Xenophobia, Jeremy57, Tommy Choo Choo, and 997. <laughs> Thank Thanks so much, man. Olivia says New York is number one. Oh no. That's sad. Yeah. Man, yeah. You know, speaking of family, I was talking with my mom this weekend. My mom is in the Philippines. For those of you who don't know, I am ethnically Filipino. And of course, both of my parents are Filipino. Um, 
My mom's in the Philippines and they are pretty hard hit too. The issue with the Philippines is, you know, they're being super, super cautious. There are not that many cases, but it's a third world country. So if something does happen to you there, they don't have the facilities to take care of you properly. Like, you know, if you had the money to go to the best hospital, probably, but for your local hospitals in your province, like where my mom is, they just don't have those facilities. So what they've done there is they, they, they've actually locked down our suburb there, or not, not, not suburb, but our province. And people over the age of 60 aren't even allowed to go out of their homes. Families are given cards, cards probably like this even, you know, and certain members of your family can only come out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just like any day of the week, but not everyone can go out the same day. Um, all public transportation has been halted, which if you're not familiar with the Philippines, especially the smaller provinces, public transportation is run by jeepneys and tricycles, which are all privately owned. So what this means is a lot of our public safety people, our, our public transportation people, aren't able to work or provide for their families. So it's, it's getting pretty bad in the Philippines. My mom's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hang out here with my two weeks of groceries. And I'm like, you go, mom. You go, mom, and stay safe. <laughs> Rich App says, need to check with my fam in Manila. Definitely do so. Definitely do, do so. Um, I'm not sure what the situation is in Manila, but for the smaller provinces, it's, it's not good. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I guess this is the time to actually um, <laughs> keep drinking. <laughs> 41 Raiders from Mex on Dex. Thank you so much. Thanks, Osiris. Thank you, Chewy, for sending all your people my way. Always awesome. Always appreciated. Thank you so much. I have to do my spiel. If it's your guys' first time joining this channel, I'm all about building keyboards. Pretty much the same as all the other keyboard streamers. But the difference in my channel is I not only do it in hardware, but I also do it in software. And tonight, I am building the MB, or I'm not building, I am programming QMK firmware onto the MB17 along with the VIA. The MB-17 is a keyboard by Mountain Blocks located here in the U United States in Portland, Oregon. He has over 120 of these units in stock and they're all retailing for about $28 each. And as soon as I can finish this program, this QMK firmware and this VIA support, he'll be able to sell them. And oh my gosh, who is doing this? Holy crap. What the heck? Gannibal gifting one one sub to Mac Merlin's community. Thank you so much, Gannibal. Let's see who else. Cozy Fanatuti, 10 tier one subs. Congratulations. Let's see. Everyone who got one. JT Jet, Ridwonk, PC Load Letter, Socialite, Takata 2D, Twixters TV, Disco Crocodile, Zerpocalypse, Freddy Franco. Keygem Andrew and Meister Manny, congratulations and thank you so much to Cozy and to Gannibal. You guys are awesome. You guys, you guys make this stream what it is. Thank you for all of your support. Drashna says, also this stream has magic. I totally need to do that again, similar to what my GIF is doing. Wrong, wrong one, wrong one. Let's do it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Magic. <laughs> All right. Jeremy says, hi, Merlin. Xenophobia says, channel needs emotes. Absolutely. I still need to talk with my, my friend who's providing those emotes. <laughs> when you need firmware, you contact a wizard. 
that's very true. Just to, just remember, I am, there are many wizards in this community. In fact, several of them are on this chat right now, but I am the only wizard that wears a hat. And I'm also the most handsome. <laughs> All right, all right. Let, let, let's actually get to this so Mr. Mountain Blocks can start selling units here. <laughs> Olivia says this is true. Thank you. Jeremy57, I see you tipping 101 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Drashna says maybe, but I have a beard. That's true. Drashna, I've never seen what you look like, but maybe one of these days if coronavirus clears up and I can make it down to SoCal and have a drink with you or something. We can talk all things RGB. <laughs> Xenophobia says corn tears. Olivia says I thought you guys had a QMK summit. I wish. I totally wish. <laughs> yeah. A QMK summit. <laughs> that would be funny. We, we should just call it Quantum Con or something. QC Quantum Con. QMK Conf. QMK Conf. I feel like we should just have like a keyboard keyboard firmware conference. So, so we could invite everyone. It could be like the QMK folk, the TMK folk, the GGON folk, people who are still running boot map or client via people uh who else who else is out there um suo or like snow whatever they're called um there's this new keyboard firmware that's starting up here in seattle actually they're all written in rust it's then there's another one that's written all in python we could get all those folks together and who else who else oh yeah we can get what's what's the ergodox firmware i, I think that's still qmk right there, there, there's like so many of them and also there's the yang diggy stuff the yang we can get all of them combined and we can all go to a conf somewhere here <laughs> somewhere here in america or something <laughs> Yeah, exactly. There's like hot tub. <laughs> Cozy says, imagine this would end in an Anchorman style street fight. <laughs> oh man. So I, I have no idea how big like the Yang Diggy stuff is, but the boot mapper client folk, I think that's like two people or something. <laughs> yeah, Via is basically just what? Olivia, Wilba. And a few other people. <laughs> no. No, you could all go in like an Anchorman style street fight. You, you guys have... You guys have all heard of waterboarding, right? But have you heard of keyboarding? Roshna says two people that make BMC or two people that use BMC. <laughs> it might be both. What they lack in numbers, they make up in Moxie. Oh man. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, OMG, Merlin, you are the worst. <laughs> you know me. You know me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, guys. No, no more jokes. No, no, no more jokes. I need to, I need to get this done. <laughs> I need to get this done, but here we go, here we go. Let me, let me actually clean this up so I can see both at the same time. Let me, let me make this clean. Let me make this clean. You can tell me more about the Rust firmware. Yeah, they're a, they show up at the Seattle Mechanical Keyboard Meetup.
All right, all right, all right, all right. How many Discord notifications do I have? Far too many, far too many. This is like a bunch of people who contact me about QMK questions. Believe it or not, if you guys are looking at that right now, I have 141 notifications right now. Um, this was all from the last two days. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. How do you populate this correctly? Right now, I've just kind of guesstimated because the top row is always row zero. The bottom row, well, it, it just escalates. It goes zero, one, two, three, four, and it's the same with the columns. But you can't just assume that. You actually need to base it on the layout macro, which you can find in your keyboard.h file. So here we go. Basically, you can just copy what the K numbers are saying. So that's zero, zero. And then this one can be zero, one. Zero two and zero three. Honestly, Rust AVR makes me sad. Their PR to merge into the mainline is three years old. Oof. Alright, one one, one two, two zero, two one. Two, two, and two, three. Three, zero, three, one, three, two. Easy peasy, but still I somehow managed to mess it up. Four, two. Four, three. There we go, okay. That's good. That's good. Now we can download the raw file. Download JSON. Perfect. And now we open it up. Now we can copy it. Copy it. Paste it. Remove that name that I said earlier. Mountain blocks while I'm doing this, you should probably download download via if you haven't already at can I can I use via.com Okay. I think that's good. And to verify that I did this correctly. Ooh. Brass says the zero is the zero is four one, not four zero. Really? Are you sure about that? I'll have to redo that really quick. Correct, it is indeed four one. Four one. Thank you. So of course that means I'm gonna have to redo that really quick right here. Mountain Block says, I have it. Awesome. Mod Me says, what's up, Merlin and chat? What's up right now? I am at the tail end of getting Via to support this new keyboard by Mountain Blocks. So let's, let's do this. Via. Boom. Load. Please, 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 please work. Awesome. 
Olivia says, how do you feel about MIT deciding to no longer use SAT scores for admission? We didn't have SATs in Canada. We didn't really suffer that. Um, I don't know. I feel like SATs were such a long time ago for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like I'm, I feel indifferent, I guess. I guess I'd, f I guess I'd feel something more if I had kids that were going into school, but who knows. All right, Mr. Mountain Blocks, I am sending you the JSON that you need to load into the, uh, So what you have to do is make sure you open up VIA. It, it would be a good idea to like have the latest version. Go to your design tab. Actually, why don't I just show it? Why don't I just show it? Here. So basically what you would do is you click the design tab and you press, actually, if you don't have a design tab, you can go to the settings tab and toggle it on. Go to design, click load and load that file that I just sent you on Discord. And if you have your numpad connected, it should auto detect it. Let me know if things work out. I'll just be here drinking the last of my cider. This is like a super colorful can. Look at that. It's a toucan. Why would it be a toucan if it's only one can? Should should I get another can so I can make a toucan? Brass said, Merlin, did you go to MIT? No, I did not. I did not even apply to MIT. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it in, and I guess I guess I will never know at this point. <laughs> I have a very close friend actually who's, whose parents went to MIT and so you know, you know as being like the good son that he is he's like oh I should totally try and apply as well. So he tries to apply, he applies to MIT, he applies to a bunch of other schools including the like the best institution here in Washington which is University of Washington and yeah he doesn't make it into MIT. And his dad's like looking at all of the reports back and then he's like, hmm, I guess these scores aren't that great. I guess you will have to settle for University of Washington. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, man. Mountain block, it works, magic, hooray. Awesome, perfect. You can still apply to MIT. At least you won't need to take the SAT. Sure. But why? Why would I apply to MIT? <laughs> uh. Okay, awesome. All right. Let's see. That is very good to know. I'll probably be building this board sooner. Maybe, maybe this Saturday, because I do need a numpad. Oh, Olivia says that's such a tiger parent thing to say. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, I guess I will build this numpad this coming Saturday. I do need a stream deck of sorts. So this might be the perfect one. Basically integrated plate. Goes all the way like that. Um, you know, of mountain blocks, I will have to say that I may not use the Pro Micro just because the Pro Micro isn't the best of breakout boards. It uses a fairly outdated and unsecure bootloader. 
By unsecure, I mean it doesn't exactly protect you from flashing a firmware file that is too large. It will let you flash it regardless if it will overwrite anything else on the EE file. So not really a good thing. And also flashing it, you, you need to be really quick. You need to flash it within eight seconds of putting it in, into reset. So I may, I may use a Proton C or an Elite C. We'll see. Regardless, I will be socketing this PCB. So even if I do use a Proton, or e even if I do use a Pro Micro, I can easily convert it to something in the near future. The flashing problem sounds like a pebcac. That's true, because if you think about it, um, all of our keyboards in QMK, even if it's Pro Micro, do protect, like, when you do the make command, it does, it does protect you from making a firmware file that's too large. So sure, sure, yeah. But you know, one thing you may not know, Mr. Mountain Blocks, is that, here, let's see if I can bring it up. I may, I may have forgotten what the syntax is, but you can do a make mountain block slash MB17 colon default. And if you're using a Proton C, I think it's just CTPC equals yes. I think you press enter and it will compile it will compile a firmware as if you had a Proton C on it. Let's see, am I correct here? I am not correct. Let me let me look at my little notes here. It is CTPC. CTPC convert to Proton C. That should have worked. That totally should have worked. But I guess not. Did I do my... Is it CTPC? CTPC equals yes. Yeah, that should have worked. But what I'm seeing is... No such file or directory, blah, 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 blah. What? Am I in the QMK directory? Yes, I am. Interesting. That should have worked. Oh, am I missing something in rules.mk? Make submodule, it should be make git submodule. Let's see, that, that might do it. Make, 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 make. Make, make, make. Here, let's try that again. There we go, perfect. Okay, I just missed the make get sub module. There you go. So now if you do indeed to, if, if you do want to use the CTPC, oh, if you do want to use Proton C, you need to do this command. And let's try that out with the VIA firmware as well. Let's do VIA. Will that do the same thing? Yep, it is. So regardless if you use a Pro Micro or a Proton C and still want to use VIA, this should work. This should work. There we go. Perfect. Unfortunately, this is not something you can trigger in QMK Configurator, but Olivia says the pinout is the same. Yes, it is. Um, this is not something you can do in QMK Configurator. If you were to, if you were to make a firmware file to QMK Configurator, it will still be the at mega 32 u 4hex hex. So this is only doable if you know some command line. Yeah. 
Drashna says it's mapped to it. Awesome. All right. Well, I will be checking in all of these files tonight. But Mr. Mountain Blocks, I don't imagine anything anything drastic changing between them. So that JSON file that I that I sent you and that hex file that I sent you should be good to go. Should be good to go. You can you know, if, if, if you want, it'll probably take a few more days for all of this to go through the formal review process. But as long as I don't change that vendor ID and that product ID, should be good. Should be good. Let's see, how long did that take me? Started at 7.30, ended at 9.30, not bad. Though probably would have been faster if I wasn't drinking too much. <laughs> Mountain Blocks says, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you to you, Mr. Mountain Blocks, for, su for supporting the stream and for sponsoring this particular episode. Let's see. I think that's actually a good segue. Let's see, speaking of sponsors, there, there are several sponsors that make this stream possible, not just um, not just Mr. Mountain Blocks here, but quite a few other people. I'll just go through them really quickly. Number one, my first sponsor is Novel Keys. Novel Keys is located here in the Uni United States, West Virginia as well. Let's see, what does he have for group buys going on? So yeah, you guys can check him out at novelkeys.xyz. He's currently selling GMK Taro, um, SA Sale, and I believe there's a third one. Oh yes, GMK White on Black Extensions. and GMK RGB add-on kit. I believe this might be the newest one. If you guys have any GMK kits that could use some some color, this might be what you want. Currently going for 60 bucks. My next sponsor is Zeal PC. He's located in Richmond, Canada. You may have heard of him for all of his Zelio, Telios, and Helio switches. I'm not sure how his shipping is affected right now, but I haven't heard much, any bad things coming from Canada. So if you order from him, it should still be fast. Maybe? Who knows? Who knows? I personally highly recommend Zelio V2s. They're currently my favorite tactile switches, so check that out if you guys have the time. Right. Next sponsor is Dixie Mac. Dixie Mac is selling botanical, GMK botanical. You guys like green? This is the set to get. I personally do not like green all too much. It's not my favorite color. Color, I think it looks good, but I'm probably gonna sit this one out. Who knows? In other news, Dixie Mech is also running Mech Madness 2020. It's similar to March Madness, but instead of basketballs, it's key sets, keyboards, and desk mats. Um, it's too late to join and build your own brackets. <laughs> Olivia says, "Rip Olive." <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll see how things go. I believe this might be the last week. Hopefully. Hopefully everyone who has submitted brackets are, is doing well. And for the lucky few who are actually guessing correctly, congratulations. Hopefully you'll win some prizes. <laughs> My next sponsor is Keeb.io. So I kept mentioning mentioning this earlier that I would put sockets in it. Keeb.io is also located here in the United States, run by Baking Pie, also known as Danny. 
one of the QMK collaborators. And let's see, where is that thing? This is what I highly recommend. Peel away sockets for Pro Micros. It's not just for Pro Micros, it's for Proton Cs and Elite Cs. It'll save you so much time, especially if you've ever de desoldered a Pro Micro. You know that it's completely mind boggling and will it'll make you want to shoot yourself. But with these, you won't have to. And that's probably what I'll be doing. Olivia says, I hope you win, Merlin. I hope so, too. We'll see, though. <laughs> we shall see. Last but not the least, Project Keyboard. So out of all the sponsors and their group buys that I've mentioned so far, this is probably my favorite set of the bunch. I know people are like, Merlin, what about GMK Apollo? How do you feel about GMK Apollo? I'm like... Eh, not so much, not so much, but GMK Ashes for sure. Um, even if I don't buy the set, I'm probably still going to go for their desk mat. Let's see. Where's that desk mat? Here we go. I really, really like this. This looks beautiful to me. I like the sword. It kind of fits my fantasy theme as well. So we'll def definitely be buying this, this desk mat. Because he says, I normally don't like mods lighter than alphas, but this set is nice. Absolutely. And look, he's even got like a really plain looking one. But I don't really like white desk mats just because, you know, despite having a coaster by CFTKB. What up, Cozy? You know, sometimes things still get stained. I might, I might spill my wine. I might spill my cider. So yeah, I don't think I can do a white desk mat. But maybe this, maybe I can do this one. Maybe I can do this one, but definitely this, definitely this. All right. Thank you guys for joining in. Hopefully you learned a little bit about Via during your time here, because I definitely did. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like remembering things as as I go along. <laughs> but yeah, tune in this Saturday and I will be building the MB17 from Mountain Blocks. And hopefully by then my PR would have been submitted and also approved. PC Load Letter says thank you. Well, thank you to you too. Thank you for joining in. Um, if this, this might, like, if you guys are looking for other video tutorials, I believe this is my fourth one. So definitely check out my VOD, definitely check out my YouTube to follow along. I admittedly do things a little bit differently each time, mainly because I'm remembering, mainly because I'm also still learning and I'm very thankful that Olivia's on stream to, to guide me. <laughs> She's probably just laughing at me the whole time, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely tune in next week for another VIA stream. Let's see who's who's talking here. Xenophobia, clear your Discord notifications, you monster. Oh boy. <laughs> Zark says, still waiting on the 20k point item to get you to do a full bottle of port in one go. That is against Twitch's terms of service. You, you cannot do that. Olivia says, I never laugh. I'm too serious for that. You always laugh. You're you're like always going, hee 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 hee. Xenophobia says, Zark, no Luddite giveaways tonight. Shoo. <laughs> yeah, um, Zark still holds the crown of most giveaways won on this channel. No, I think he's won what three? Z Xenophobia, you've you won at least one, I think. Oh well. Anyway, thank you, <laughs> thank you everyone for joining in. Once again, this was the MB17 from Mountain Blocks. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you have any questions about Via or QMK, 
make sure you don't hit me up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys are more than welcome to, to, to hit me up on my Discord tr channel or just contact me directly at MacMerlin hashtag 2999. All right, guys, hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Stay safe from that coronavirus. Keep it away from you. Make sure you maintain a safe distance from everyone around you. But also don't forget to support your local businesses so they don't close, close shop. All right, folks, have a good night. I'll see you on Saturday.